Hello, my name is Jacob Lavender, and this is my application to the SMU Guild Hall. Uh, I used the Unreal Development Kit to make a level, the requirements being two rooms connected with a corridor, and lighting. So the first thing I did for the outdoor lighting was I used the template for the night level, and it's got the moon, it gave a really nice look and shadows to the level. Uh, I used most of the static meshes to create this room right here. Uh, static meshes for the lamps and the lighting you can see is orange right here if you move back and outside you can see that the lighting is from the moon inside is actually the lighting from point lights on top of each of these lanterns the point lights used an orange color to give off the color uh, that I matched with the actual lantern itself the walls and the ceiling are all static meshes and the back wall at the top right here is actually built with the brush. I was really pleased with the way that it turned out. I think I thought that the template gave my level a good look with all the shadows. Right here you can see that on this outdoor corridor that I made, I put lanterns with point, uh, actually spotlights for these to give the appearance of the, light, the lantern pointing kind of downwards with most of the light because of the night light overshadowing it with the dominance. I increased the size by a thousand percent of this static mesh statue and I actually placed the the two rooms inside of his hands. I thought it turned out really well, super pleased. It looks awesome, kind of like a shadow of Colossus type thing. Um, wasn't really my inspiration, but it kind of turned out that way. It looks great. Super pleased with that. Here's some more lighting uh, along the corridor. And right here I used uh, four static meshes that I made into a circle in order to change the direction of the path. I also wanted to have something in the middle, kind of like a photo op type situation. Uh, I put a floating statue right here of a ball and I put a blue point light inside of it to give off a nice otherworldly like feel, especially with the nighttime. As you move on, you can see that this hall or this corridor is the same as the other side. Uh, everything alternates back and forth, back and forth with the lanterns on the side. Overall, it gave a, a really nice feel and ambience to the, uh, to the level. You can see, I, I, this is probably my favorite view right here, you can see the, the hand holding out to the other room, which is kind of like a barn on the other side. And then in his other hand is this one, he used some of the necro necropolis uh, static meshes to make this, um, and the textures. This one's again the same as the middle dial. It's made out of four static meshes, and then I made a smaller version of it to make the platform for another statue. Put him right in the moonlight. It looks really, really good. I like the way that turned out. And on the back, two walls, uh, two curved walls put together pretty seamlessly. Uh, and then I put a, for lighting in this room, you can see that everything is, is a white light from the moonlight, except in this room it is more of a yellow light that I matched with the lights of the chandelier. Um, bullets are, there are collisions with all the bullets, so everything has collisions enabled, it works really well. The only issues that I really had while making this level were with some of the lighting being built, the light mass and things, I didn't really know about any of these and it, I had to research it. But the biggest problem that I had is I kept spawning inside of the statue because the collision model was not per pixel of actual matter on the model. I don't know if the terminology is correct, but it was just a, a blanket box over it. And so when I had made it this way, I kept spawning in dead. I didn't, know, I didn't even know what was happening. Um, it was a big problem, I had to fix it, but uh, after I figured out what it was, it wasn't too bad to just remove the collision on the actual Titan himself, this, uh, this Titan, this statue that is holding the two rooms together. Um, the next problem I had was the floor, and it worked out really well with, I put a, uh, a fog in, and 
can't see the floor anymore or the the ground I guess you could say and it cuts off the right about the torso of the actual Titan himself so I titled this level uh, in the hands of a Titan and I thought that was appropriate so I hope you like it and I hope you um, I hope you uh, continue to look for more from me so thank you